Today, I'm going to show you how to style roads in QGIS. So, fire up your QGIS instance and load our usual project. And let's do it. But first, our intro. Okay, now QGIS is far up. We loaded the, the um, our usual project, which is Veneto region with uh, data from OpenStreetMap. In this moment, as you can see, there are a lot of roads, maybe at too much. So the first thing to do is to remove all this clutter and we can do it using rules for styling and so double click on your roads layer and as you can see in the symbology tab you have the single symbol set now the first thing to do is to change it to a rule based symbology type and to start styling a bit okay here there's no filter there and uh, we have no scale range set and the symbol is just a uh, one millimeter uh, one millimeter um, with line which is done using a, a simple line okay this is the current situation but how we can style roads let's reason a bit okay. let's click ok just open up the attribute table it's working there are a lot of roads so it may take a while okay i think it we have it okay i don't know where it is okay perfect here we are and you can, as you can see in the column on the first row you have the OSM ID, the code, the F class, name, reference, one way, max speed, layer, and other uh, information. You can scroll it down to see how it changed, but this is ordered for, for um, sorted for F class, but not really easy to understand what. Uh, are the instances of F class. So we can do something for this. We can close the window and we can go in the vector menu, analysis tools and list unique values. As input layer, we'll, uh, we will choose roads and we'll click on the F class as the target field just click on the three dots in the on the right side of the screen and after doing this um, let um, unique values and html report in uh, as they are so we we create a temporary data click run it takes a little bit of time and you, as you can see we have now unique values here okay right click open attribute table and now as you can see we have all the choices for f class let's start filtering something using f class so i'll say I'll start with motorway and the motorway link. So let's add a new rule. Hmm. 
but oh no we can just use this one for the moment as the label label at set motorway and with we can filter the data set in order to consider only motorway f class so double quote f class equal single quote motorway okay perfect click test and we have more than 1000 features selected we also want the motorway link so we can add an or condition and we can still use f class in quotes double quotes or we can use attribute single quote f class equal motorway link let's test it now yeah. hmm motorway link okay okay now we have three thousand features a bit more let's click ok and click apply to see what i've changed oh okay it's working okay now as you can see we have only highways motorways in uh, this uh, setup so we can change the style oh yeah okay you can change the style just clicking on the the rule as you can see in the layers panel and we can maybe enlarge a bit styling is not uh, what um, just uh, mm, I, I won't uh, do it uh, really good for the moment so it's okay as you can see we have a uh, more pronunciated width here we can still increase it or we or we can use a preset also we could want to add um a halo a border so we could add a white symbol click the plus here move it down and set it to five maybe oh no okay maybe too much oh doing this we have highlighted the problem and the problem is that we have okay this was set in pixel should be set in millimeters okay this is the way I want it but there is a problem lines are not contiguous so uh, there are a lot of segments and these segments um, break up the symbols so what we can do is click on the roads click on here symbol levels and change the the level rendering so QGIS will render the first um, we have two layers here or one for symbol and uh, QGIS will render in order by the symbols so if we set one to the second layer here so in the black one it will fix all the stuff Okay, now it's perfect. Okay, good. Almost good. We have to, to work a little bit on the, on the styling to have it perfect, but not the, the, the way we wanna work now. But 
let me see if I can fix something. Okay, now it's four meters at scale. Um, I, you can change this to get proportion used by scale. So if we have uh, um, let, uh, for example, set this to 12 and this to 10, uh, we could get it perfect. Okay, it's still not working well, but it should go. Okay, now it depends on the scale, but so we can set it to at least the triple or 30 and 36. Okay, should be better. Obviously, if you go on this uh, um, scale, it will be very small but you can just adjust uh, to have it okay let's see another symbol i will work with primary and primary link here so double click on roads takes this and make a copy oh we can have we have two two way just click on the plus and you will do it uh, like before or we can just um, copy symbol and paste symbol but uh, oh sorry copy and paste not symbol and this is um, just click it and um, edit the label to primary and the f class now is primary and the other one is a primary link. Okay, let's change the, the scale here a little bit. We can just adjust this to um, 24. Okay. And the color may be the same, or we can use. Um, gray dark gray okay okay now as you can see we have the other roads here if you want to fix the order just change oh the order of the rules so maybe this one should be up or down oh. Okay, select and drag, and now, okay, we need to click, okay, we have the order, the opposite order, um, usually it's better to have, have it sorted by the importance of the road. Let's do it for secondary, paste. Okay, secondary, secondary, secondary link. Perfect. Let's change the color again. Here, maybe a bit lighter, still a bit lighter. Let's click apply. Let's click OK. And we have basic roads in here. It's not cluttered anymore. It still takes a while uh, as you can see the legend is applied using uh, the rules that uh, generating using generated using the rules you set okay let's take a another look at the unique values of forest class and we also have a tertiary and a residential, which will be interesting to add. Now let's go symbology. So duplicate this. Tertiary. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Oh. Tertiary link. Still doing it. Okay. If we click on the arrow, you will get this picker. If you click on the color, you will get this one, which is actually better in our case. So, okay, now we have a lot of roads here, and everything is less cluttered than before. Um, now we should, I think, for the, um, the tertiary road, we can remove the, the white border. It's a bit slow because mm, this styling is not filtering on the data, so every data should be uh, QJS read all data and draw only mm, not non-filtered rules, uh, non-filtered items by rules. Also, we can have a catch-all feature. So uh, others, and we can make it yellow. <laughs> so uh, we can have all the rows. Mm, let's make it a bit darker so it's okay for us. But now we have all the clutter. Mm, that's definitely not good. So one thing we could do is to set scale range for this and uh, the we can use uh, this is the scale cu current scale so maybe it's now over 500,000 maybe we can uh, uh, start uh, show it at 500 to one to one so it's okay okay now they are vanished the others roads are vanished so let's give it a bit of time let's zoom in and uh, on the scale they start showing up so it's quite Use, usable right now this is only uh, an example of what you can do with QGIS and the the tools on the that they offer on the symbology I'll show you other tips in the future episodes so don't remember to subscribe to have uh, all the new tips that I will publish. Thank you for listening. Spread the word uh, if you like this video. Click like button, please, and uh, a comment if uh, you like. Thank you and bye bye.